Hi everyone, our subject today is Strider in Pediatrics. Strider is a predominantly inspiratory, harsh, medium-pitched sound caused by obstruction in the upper extrathoracic airway. The most common cause is infectious croup. Inquire about risk factors for respiratory problems such as prematurity, intubation, chronic medical problems, and hospitalization. The review of system should include signs of infection and any obvious aggravating factor, example, position, agitation. Particularly important is a history of any recent choking episode which would uh, raise the suspicion of foreign body, assess the child's level of illness, appearance, anxiety, and respiratory distress, like nasal flaring, grunting, accessory muscle use, retractions, a careful skin exam for cutaneous findings, such as hemangiomas, should be performed, particularly in infant in whom the strider is gradually worsening over the time. How to approach to a child with a strider after performing history and physical examination? Is it occurring immediate in the newborn period? If it is yes, consider ENT consultation. A differential diagnosis may include laryngomalacia, tracheomalacia, subglottic tracheal stenosis, tracheal whip, craniofacial abnormality like perirobin syndrome, cry to chat. If it is not immediate in the newborn period, it is either acute or chronic. If it is chronic or recurrent, consider AP and lateral neck X-ray, chest X-ray, barium esophagogram, ENT referral for a laryngoscope, ECO with CT or MRI angiograph. Differential diagnosis may include laryngomalacia, vascular ring or sling, mass lesion, papillomatosis, vocal cord paralysis, chiari uh, crisis, and hypocalcemia. If it is acute, is there any sign or symptoms of infection present? If there is no sign of infection, this is maybe croup spasmodic, of course, uh, foreign body, angioedema, allergic reaction, mass lesion, subglottic stenosis, trauma, including surgical. If there is sign or symptoms of infection, uh, consider a lateral and AP neck x-ray. Is the baby very ill looking? If uh, he is not very ill looking, this uh, differential diagnosis may include croup, infectious, abscess, peritonsillar, retropharyngeal, subglottic stenosis with respiratory infection. If the baby very ill looking, this is a croup, infectious, of course, severe cases, epiglottitis, bacterial trachitis, abscess, peritonsillar, or retropharyngeal abscess. Recommended investigations. Most cases of acute hoarseness and strider do not uh, need uh, any investigation. Thyroid function test to exclude hypothyroidism, serum calcium to confirm hypocalcemia, a blood culture indicated for suspected cases of epiglottitis, direct laryngoscopy to diagnose laryngeal hemangioma and paralysis of the vocal cord. Chest X-ray may diagnose vascular ring or aspiration. CT scan or MRI to, to head to diagnose chiari malformation. Top tips. History of respiratory sound do not define the location or and the nature of the stenosis. Endoscopy is required to detect the exact location, degree of stenosis and its relation to other tissue. The most important aspect of acute strider is to differentiate between life-threatening illness such as epiglottitis and or foreign body and relatively harmless croup caused by viral infection. Nocturnal onset of acute strider with barking cough and hoarseness voice is almost certainly croup. 
whether viral or spasmodic. Laryngomalacia is the most common cause of persistent strider during infancy. It is caused by soft tissue laxity above the vocal cords, which collapses during inspiration. Parents can be reassured that recovery will occur when the child is aged 12 to 18 months, often even earlier. Once the diagnosis of laryngomalacia is made, direct examination of the larynx is not indicated. Angioedema is either allergic, often uh, with the urticaria, idiopathic, or hereditary, which is present with a recurrent episode of swelling caused by mutation in the gene encoding C1 esterase inhibitor. It is a non-bitting, non-dependent, and transient, which is either histamine-mediated or bradykinine-mediated, which is not mediated by IgE and not associated with urticaria. Adrenaline is ineffective. Red flags. A neonate with respiratory distress and severe strider may have a laryngeal web between the vocal cords. Immediate laryngoscopy is required to prevent asphyxia. Laser treatment is successful. A toxic looking child with a high fever and swallowing difficulty has epiglottitis. Admitted to intensive care unit and consult an ENT surgeon and anesthesiologist. Do not examine the throat as this could cause a laryngeal spasm and respiratory obstruction. Some children with croup 1-2% to may present with increased respiratory distress and worsening tachycardia. They will need intensive care and intubation. It is unusual for common group to have hypoxia, pulse oximeter below 92%. If present, this would be an ominous sign requiring urgent attention. Angioedema is often life-threatening depending on underlying cause and location. Prompt administration of adrenaline is life-saving even if it uh, turned out uh, to be bradykinine mediated. Laryngomalacia should be investigated if associated with respiratory distress, dyspnea, cyanosis, failure to thrive, or obstructive sleep disorders. In the absence of viral respiratory tract infection, an acute strider in an infant or toddler may suggest foreign body aspiration. This is more likely if the history suggests sudden choking and coughing. Thank you for your listening.